what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys we are back here in finland checking out some different things in a finnish home um we're here with the channel i don't know how to say my guy's name but he got weird but genius things in finnish homes now i did one before um i believe it was group three friends and they kind of went through some different finnish things so we're about to see some genius things that finnish homes have I'm excited to see, cause I know some of y'all say y'all got a y'all got a sauna in your backyards and all those different things. That's nice. That's nice. I wish I could. Well, you can't. You can get a portable sauna, but I'm sure it's not like how you could get in Finland. But we checking this out on a snowy day. Very snowy day. It looks. Looks like. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> are you guys gonna just stand outside here, or are you guys gonna let me give you the grand tour of my finished home? <laughs> Look at all the snow! Dang, I couldn't imagine. This look nice already. I like the door. First things first, you gotta take off your shoes when you come into a house in Finland. Big no-no to wear shoes indoors. That's all right, fact. welcome to that. the Hapoya residence. Let me give you a little bit of a tour of the place and then I'll show you some of the cool and unique features in a Finnish home. This look nice. I'm not even gonna lie. You got a nice home. I could stay in something like this. This look cozy. Nice. Nice. Nice little kitchen. Coffee maker or something. Welcome to MTV Cribs Finland edition. <laughs> hope you like that little tour of our house it's small but cozy and with all the interior decorating i can't take the credit all because my boss wife vera has done it all whenever she asks me what do i think about something i always say babe i trust you you have a good eye for this because i'm totally clueless when it comes <laughs> to this. anyways same, now same. we're going to do a little tour of our home and just show you some cool unique features that maybe differentiate from North American homes where I'm used to growing up in Canada and what's like to mm -hmm. live here in Finland and things that I love about the Finnish home. Oh, Let's start the North tour. America. You might have been wondering earlier why I said it's an absolute must to take off your shoes in a Finnish home and the reason why is is that in Finland we have laminate or wood floors and if you're wearing mm -hmm. your wet shoes in the house it doesn't do good for the floor. Which is quite an interesting as well because in Canada or North America you have a lot of homes with full carpets but here we love yeah. to have wood floors, laminate floors. I guess it's kind of like nice Scandinavian modern nature feel. Which is, I just thought about that. Which is crazy because growing up having carpet, dirt is still get caught into the carpet more worse than, you know, wooden floors. So it's crazy visiting people homes and they never tell you to take your shoes off check out floors. when they have carpet it's kind of like nice scandinavian carpet stains so easily. nature feel check out my floors we got these i, I got those gray laminate flooring. actually i like the look i wish i could show you i actually have those same floors they're gray everything look at yeah those, i have the same floors gray and i'm not wearing shoes flooring. i like the look of it but to be honest, I like the practicality of it because if there's a little bit of crumbs in the ground, you don't notice it. But if it was white or something else, you'd notice it. Yeah. Don't tell my wife that. You can feel it if you ain't got no feature, socks on. A really ingenious thing that all finished homes have. In our kitchen, we have something called a drying rack. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Basically, when you do the dishes, you know, Me, say you that. have a smoothie or different things that just don't fit into the dishwasher, you can just put it in here and let the water drip into the sink rather oh. than having some huge drying rack on your kitchen space. That yeah. way you save a lot of countertop space and as well you don't get the mess of the water dripping in. I didn't notice it was uh, opening at the bottom of that, but typical American homes, yeah, you're gonna have, you can actually buy them separately at the store. Now, most, most people I know don't have them, but I know growing up, my family had it. To where you can dry your dishes and stuff. Uh, me personally, I started off doing it at my house, but now we just put them in a the dishwasher, let the dishwasher do the work, you know, let them sit there dry, all that, then put them up. And it does save a lot of space. It's a lot of working room. Save you can a lot put of countertop different things space, you can put right there. And as well, you don't get the mess of the water. But I like that. I in. like that right there. Now, 
for Vera and I, we were living in Australia and they didn't have a drying rack like this and we didn't have oh, a washing machine, really? which meant like we had all these wet dishes all the time all over the countertop. Uh, so when I came back to Finland two years ago, I was like, dang, I really appreciate this <laughs> ingenious invention. I have no clue who created it or who invented it, but whoever you really are, smart. thank you. We really appreciate having this in our home. I think too, here in America, in the States, I would say, we you, we have a lot of dishes too, cause I have like three or four counters where I can put dishes at, at the top. We have a lot of space for dishes, I can say. And also, it just nicely hides into the cupboard, so you can't see anything right now when it's like this. It's just built in into the closet. Pretty cool, Pretty eh? Nice drying racks here in Finland. If there's nice. one thing about Finnish Convenient. people, Finnish people are very practical. They're always trying to think of how to make things as practical and logical as possible. All right, now we're gonna head into our shower and laundry room. I'm gonna show you something that's kind of interesting in Finland that most people in North America would have, but we don't have in Finland. If you look at this, this is our laundry room. There's only one machine. Is that an all-in-one? We only have washing machines. We don't oh. use dryers, but what we do use... <laughs> that's right is a drying rack. Drying I'll show rack. you how it works. Let me set it up for you and I'll show you how we dry all our clothes. Which, you know, I know I'm stopping this a little bit too much, but they have an all-in-one machine now. Not, um, I've seen it like at Best Buy or something. I've seen it on the internet. I don't know if it was at Best Buy. But you can wash and dry your clothes in the same machine type of thing. It's Oops. interesting. So you take this drying rack, you set it up. When you don't use it, you just stick it in the closet. But when you're using it, you have this clothesline. That's a pretty big clothes, one. Put them all there, make them dry. Now, it does take a little bit of extra time to do all of this, but the reason yeah. why we do this is, well, A, it saves a lot of space in our laundry room, not having to have a drying room. As well, it saves a lot of electricity. And third, it makes your clothes last a lot longer when you don't just throw it from the washing machine into the dryer. Yeah, no shrinkage over here. And air dry them. Again, very logical solutions here in Finland. Finnish people are very logical, very energy saving, and they want to do everything the best they can. So this is the drying rack. I'm Nothing wrong with that. The closet because, yeah, we don't need it right now. Yeah. In the States, your washer and dryer has its own room. It's crazy. <laughs> Our washer and dryer, we have, I mean, it's not big, but we do have a room that you can put your washer and dryer in. Which, if you think about it, you could have made some more space and probably created another room that somebody could sleep in or something. All right, now it's time to show the one thing that I love the most in our home, and that is the sauna. I did do just a video, sauna? I think a week or two ago, about how I love sauna swimming, but little did you know, it's not just when you're at the cottage. Actually, every single Finnish home and apartment usually would have a sauna. Even though apartment? Come check this out. Like Perth? Come so on, we have the shower here, the sauna. Wow, so that is nice. So in our home, we have the sauna. There's a little crank up the ISO for you guys. Wow. 20,000 ISO. There's the rocks there where we throw the water. That is, that is cool. I would just want to, uh, that means I can probably stay in a hotel and be able to experience a sauna at the hotel type of thing. But I love this guy. That looks nice and very the convenient. The sauna is perfect in That's Finland cool. because, you know, after a long day outside, you're super cold or maybe you go for an mm -hmm. evening run and you just want to warm up. Perfect place in the evening with your wife. Just sit in the sauna, enjoy, relax, talk, have some good quality time. It's probably the one place where you can't bring your phone, meaning you just have good yeah. old quality time and conversation. That but yeah, is nice. Saunas. It's a great invention. Every single home in the world, maybe not in warm countries, but at least in cold countries, all cold countries should have a sauna. Super nice, super relaxing, super enjoyable. That this is, room I like used that. to be like my that. office. Uh, a few months ago, I think last summer, I was still filming in my house in this office room. If you guys remember, these shots were from this room. Oh. And oh. as much as I love the early beginnings of filming this YouTube channel in my house, I'm so glad that I have an office. And now we actually turned this room into my wife's office. And oh, nice. well, let's just say that she did a lot better job than I did.
Also, let me show you something that I'm very proud of. I'm not very good with tools or doing these handyman things, but my <laughs> wife hated having the TV in the living room. So we had yeah. this shelf system, but something that you don't know is that this shelf actually in my videos used to have five shelves, but I actually ended up cutting the shelf off right here oh, wow. and just using some black marker. So that the TV gets <laughs> in there just seamlessly. You can't tell. Can't even tell. Away from sight. That's nice. Yeah. That nice. Used to film here all the time in this corner or face on right here. One thing a woman going to do, she going to decorate. She going to turn that house into a home. Brings a lot of nostalgic memories. Everyone's got to start from somewhere. Yeah. As you can see, finished homes are very minimalistic. We love it, just very modern, clean look, very natural, a lot of wood, a lot of brown tones and whites. And it's important. It's important because we really wanna enjoy a home because we spend a lot of time inside the home when it's winter time. So having a nice home is really enjoyable. But before I end the tour, I still wanna take you outside and show you a few uh -oh. things that in my opinion are really cool here in Finland that's something that might be really interesting for you guys from North America or from different cultures in the world. So I'm gonna put my jacket back on and we're gonna go outside and check a few things out before we end the tour of the Hopwea residence. Yeah. Hey, this is real nice. I think so. That sauna was excellent. That sauna was Jeez. excellent. I like that. I'm not gonna this is a nice house. Keys, check. Got the keys. One time I was filming a video, left the house, and I locked myself out of the house. So <laughs> I'm always traumatized nowadays. Got to oh, yeah, the keys did. when you're filming. European doors are okay, different. Something that's really interesting in Finland is that we have these things called Thalaufthios. Basically, all these eight apartments here in our little uh, center, we are all part of the one group, and basically, we share a lot of things. So. Even now I'm gonna take you, we have this little storage and instead of everyone owning, for example, a lawnmower or tools to do gardening or something, or mm. for example, there's a water pressure in here that I always wash the cars with, um, we all share it. So instead That's of having nice. eight lawnmowers, I don't have another hand to make the other three, but instead <laughs> of having eight lawnmowers, we just have one. And if That's we wanna nice. buy gas, one person's been designated to go buy the gas for a lawnmower or if something breaks or we need more tools, they take out of a fund that we all pull into and we share that money. That's nice. But check it out. Now, you know, I stay in the neighborhood and HOAs, we pay HOA fees. That sounds like something you should do, like where our money should go towards when it comes to HOA. Like if somebody ever need their yard mowed, if I don't have a lawnmower, maybe the HOA has a designated person they can pay out of the fund to cut my yard. Nope. We're just putting in money and keeping it. Well, not me personally, but the HRAs. But this they is take a good out of idea. Fun that we That's all pull nice. into and we share that money. But check it out. So, for example, here, this is kind of like a storage unit. Okay. Lawnmower here. Water pressure thing. Water whatever it's pressure called is in coming. English, I remember. Anyways, to hose off the car. You know, if we have gardening tools here. Everything is just shared, which is really cool and really not normal in the individualist society that we live in nowadays that people yeah. would share, but it's worked well. I don't have to buy a, my own lawnmower, I don't have to buy my own garden tools, rather. We just share it all, which is really cool. I really enjoy that. That's Open nice. That we still have kind of this community sense when it comes to your neighborhood. All right, let's close this door. And I'll let all the heat out. <laughs> the last thing that I think is really cool about our house or something that I really love is that we have these massive oh, okay. garage things. It's not a garage <laughs> that you just drive into, but you at least have a roof. The yeah. reason why this is so important is that when you live in a cold country and it's snowing almost every day or every other day, you don't want to have to remove the snow off yeah. the car. So as you can see, no snow right now. And the snow same thing is, I, I actually don't know why this happens. This is a little bit of a mystery, but when you have your car underneath one of these little roof carport things, your windshield never freezes. And if you're uh -huh. in a cold country or if you live in a cold country or have ever been to a cold country, you know how much I of a pain that. in the butt it is. I've stayed in an apartment. That I never noticed that. My apartment I stayed in uh, a couple of years ago it had a carport where, you know, the little roof of... I never noticed it. In the morning when you're waking up at 7 in the morning, go scrape off your car windows. It's minus 10 out. You don't want to do that. So 
All I do is just jump in my car. I don't have to wipe the snow off my car. I don't have to scrape my windshield. I'm ready to go. And that's something that's really practical and helpful and I didn't even realize until this winter I realized, dang, it's good to not have to do any snow or ice work on my car. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the end of my grand tour of the Hapoya residence. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes of my home and Hapoya. just seeing what the Finnish culture is like. And hopefully this helps you guys get to know me a little bit better. All right, thank you for being a part of this video. If you're not subscribed yet to the channel, make sure you click here. And as well, if you want to see last week's video, click yeah, I gotta here. Subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and have a great week. I might have seen this guy before. Yeah, I definitely just subscribe. Y'all gotta subscribe. This was good. Three years ago, but it's still valid. It was nice. This was nice. Uh, yeah, this guy looked familiar. I've probably seen some one of his videos to learn how to use my cameras or something. Now that I've seen it, learn how to, you know, edit video photos and videos and stuff. But this was good. My favorite thing was the sauna. And of course, the drying rack for the dishes with the salt. That was nice. That was real nice. It was real fancy looking. But those are some nice finished apartments right there. Um, I don't know. I've seen different things when it comes to Finnish culture and really just cultures in the Nordic countries and stuff like that. And this was nice to see. Um, this was a very modern, up to date type of home. First time I've seen that. So, but that's all I have. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I think these things were genius. Where he lives is very well put together. Very well put together. So, but y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.